Yo, what's up, guys? Jean Reveal, and today we're talking about Sacramento Kings. As well was just tweeted out that Sacramento Kings never agreed with Golden State Warriors assistant head coach Mike Brown on a four year contract to become the franchise's new head coach. Wow. In my opinion, this is or this was the best uh, potential coaching candidate for any team in terms of what the Lakers, in terms of other teams that need head coaches. In my opinion, I felt like Mike uh brown was the best head coach possible for in terms of an option and all that um i don't know what team it would go to but i know warriors fans right now are definitely in shambles because we asked warriors fans was a better head coach mike brown or steve kerr they're gonna mostly say mike brown mike brown's really good in terms of like developmental and all this he's been to the fixing the uh thick and thins i remember he was coaching the um I the Cavs, and i forgot what else he coached in the past but obviously he has a really good um resume in terms of coaching in terms of assistant coaching head coaching has really good potential really good coach really good intellectual coach been around the league for a while now and i'm really just surprised it took him this long to get an actual coaching job i mean at a point you think that he would eventually get one being next to steve kerr and you see all these candidates just go ahead and get these jobs and you just see mike brown still being an assistant head coach i mean words for like i said i've got y'all best coach is gone now sadly so hey We'll see what that but kings fans congrats like i said y'all got the best coaching candidate in my opinion you guys go from luke wall to alvin gentry i believe now is what it probably in the front office still i don't think he's just the coach maybe he's just the coach i don't know though but alvin gentry was your assistant head coach he was the interim head coach when you guys fired luke Walton. finally for y'all and hopefully this kind of turns around the franchise and the kind of like the um culture you would say with the kings because as one of the Kings have been known for a while to be just a poverty franchise, they haven't made the playoffs in more like 15, 20 years. They have Prime Demarcus Cousins couldn't make the playoffs, and yeah, it feels like I've like the Kings. Every time you think of them, the negative connotation of them just not being a good team and them being a poverty team, they're not making the playoffs. And then this year they added on to while trading away their best player when it's all going to be said and done. In my opinion, Tyrese Halliburton for the bonus of bonus and what. Um, Tristan Thompson and uh, Buddy Hill, like, yeah, like, you guys traded them away, you guys traded away Halliburton, now you guys actually have to go ahead and get a second option, I guess, to De'Aaron Fox, maybe, um, that's not, maybe that's Dave John Mitchell already, but, I guess, but, uh, yeah, shout out to Mike Brown, definitely so happy for him, I remember him coaching, like I said, for the Cavs, I feel like Mike Breen really has been in the league for a while now, like, He's actually insane and just seeing him always on the um Warriors bench just coaching like he really looked like he put him in more work than Steve Kerr. Not even trolling at all, but he was a former um Cavs head coach. He formerly coached the uh Lakers and he last coached really as a head coach in 2014 with the Cavs. And yeah, so copy for Mike Brown definitely deserves it. Now we'll see who the next domino is to fall into the head coaching jobs. In terms of people actually going ahead and doing that i heard rumblings of mark jackson potentially being a a viable option for the kings that i go ahead and they go with uh mike brown and yeah but i definitely do say mark jackson to get a job with the lakers whether that's with somebody else i expect him to get a job we're gonna see mike brown get a job and hey shout out to the kings you got made a rare w in my book rare w for the kings go ahead this year um i forgot what I mean, we don't know what pick they have yet. I believe they have a first round pick. They have to have a first round pick. But you're chilling with your first round pick. You have to have your first round pick. Um, go ahead and use that somebody good. Don't get a guard because y'all got um Fox and Davion Mitchell. Um, maybe I don't know. I mean, it really depends on the uh, draft lottery, but definitely get somebody to pair along with your future in um definitely in Fox and. Yeah, make sure you obviously really love Fox as y'all kept him over Halliburton. And y'all really should have been Halliburton, bro. I can't do that still to this day. It's been a couple months, but I still cannot believe that. But hey, it's all going a little bit in the right direction, getting an actual head coach that actually is very intellectual and the best head coaching options. In my opinion, like I said, the best head coaching option. And the guy that should have gotten the job and got the job and it should not have taken this long for him to get a head coaching job. But hey, finally he's getting it. And Happy for him and Warriors family. Y'all just lost Mike Brown, man. How y'all feeling about that, man? But other than that, yo, that is the video. So go down below, drop a like, comment down below. What are your thoughts on the King signing Mike Brown? Kings fans, what are your thoughts on this? In my opinion, like I said, very good move. Y'all got yourself a really good head coach. 
very intellectual guy and knows the ins and out of basketball and hopefully can turn around this franchise because the Kings right now are severely poverty. Hopefully, and then their future can go ahead and bring them at least at a play in game because the Pelicans this year had no Zion Williamson all year. I know they got McCullum on the trade deadline and all that, but they made the playoffs without Zion Williamson, who's supposed to be their best player. And y'all could not make it. I mean, y'all traded away Halliburton at the trade deadline. Fox is a bonus. Ah, uh, it's actually a pretty cool combination between the two, but hopefully, y'all actually don't troll. I uh, hope y'all get another good guy like y'all got last year, Dave Mitchell, in the NBA draft this year. Obviously, he had on the inner box. Let's go ahead and we go out and take it like a wing. Um, just maybe three or four. And hey, just go ahead and help you team out. Um, y'all still have like a sense of bonus at the four. So hey, definitely go ahead and probably like go, maybe go like maybe like go ahead and try to get like a wing, like a small forward, and go ahead and build the culture up in Sacramento, which is. They're fairly depleted right now, so hey. Like I said in this video, hope you guys are just video with John and I'm out, man. Peace.